Yo yo, what's up everybody? This is going to be my quick updated settings video for 2024. I've done a settings video since I stopped playing competitive um, critical ups, and I guess that's pretty long time now, over about over a year besides a couple tournaments that I, I filled in for played quickly, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna real quickly just go over my settings. Just, uh, a lot of people do ask me in my streams and stuff. So let's just get right into it. Obviously, select language English. Uh, you can do whatever language you speak. Uh, I'm on a 120 FPS iPad, so I run at 120 FPS. HUD, obviously you want to show your HUD, uh, unless you're doing a challenge, maybe turn your HUD off. But uh, control opacity, I use 30%. I used to run like a higher 80, 90% so I could see my buttons. But since I'm really comfortable with my buttons now, I usually run it lower. I've ran 10, I've ran 20, I've even ran it completely off, but uh, I prefer having it about 20 or 30. Uh, this way I can actually see how much ammo I have left in my gun, uh, while at the same time not having it be a distraction. Show FPS meter, I always have this on, and I just keep it on the far right. You can put it on the left, you can put it in the middle, wherever you feel comfortable with, doesn't really matter. Show debug info, I have played with this on, but there's really nothing that's useful in here. Um, I, I think just keeping it off is better, and just being able to see your FPS is fine. Everything else here is just preference. Oh, one, one final thing I would recommend is disable callouts. I keep this off, I disable the callouts because I know all the callouts, I don't need to know where the heck this place is and that place is. I know all the callouts on every map. Now, if you're somebody who's newer to the game and you don't know the callouts, I would recommend putting this on. Moving on to gameplay. Weapon size view, I've always said this on zero. Uh, I think there are some people that play with max, but I think it's just easier with zero. You don't really, it's not really that much of a difference between zero and the max, but I just prefer it off. Field of view, obviously you want this as high as you can. This will give you the best view on seeing everything. Now, I think some people maybe could experiment with like nine or, bu uh, or higher. Uh, you don't really want to go below 9, you'll just be able to see less and less, and then um, you know you might miss uh, some critical information because your field of view is too small. Crosshair, I always put a crosshair on. I don't know why anybody would put it off. Dynamic crosshair, this is something that's kind of preference, but I prefer it off. Uh, obviously, there, I used to play dynamic crosshair, like 2019 competitive scene, I used to play with dynamic crosshair on. Crosshair size, I always recommend 33 to 30, uh, and anywhere in between this is pretty good. Once you get past 33, you start getting this bigger, fatter crosshair, which uh, for some people can be cool. I used to rock, I think, 55 I used to rock back when I was an amp um, about two years ago. I was running 50, uh, 50 to 55, but it's just a really big crosshair, and it's just it's not something that really will affect you if you're like a pro player. Custom uh, crosshair color. This is something like in CS that a lot of players use green or yellow um, are probably the biggest two. Sometimes light blue is a big one as well. Uh, magenta I wouldn't really recommend, but uh, yeah, I would I would recommend between light blue, green, obviously the classic white, and then also I think yellow is not bad. Just uh, hey markers, you want hit markers on? Hit marker size, I keep it the same as my crosshair, so 33%. I didn't actually notice the thing, but co custom hit marker colors is a thing now, which I think is pretty cool. Um, maybe you could play around and put it as like bright red or something. That might look very very unique, very cool. But I don't play with it on currently. I didn't even know it's a feature to be 100% honest with you. So maybe I'll try playing with that. Uh, when I'm back from my trip. Damage indicators, this is something that you could put it like small. I would never recommend medium or large because that'll just get in the way um, of your screen. But if you're playing with sound on, I don't think you really need damage indicators on. If Maybe if you have sound off, maybe try small. But enemy highlights, I recommend putting this on and I recommend putting it on a different color than all the maps are. So for example, most of the walls and the outlines of the maps are like grayish or black or white. So I would recommend a color that's bright that stands out. Something like magenta, which is what I use right now. Um, and I have it on both sides, obviously the same. Weapon settings. Quick swap priority. This is something that I've always ran primary weapon, but I think some people do previous weapon. I just feel more comfortable in primary weapon and there's really no reason for it. I think it's uh, maybe a little bit better when you know 100% that your primary is going to be pulled out if you're trying to quick switch. But um, other than that, I don't really think there's... like This is not something that you necessarily need. You could, you could play around and see which one you like more. Auto equip weapon on pickup. I've always kept this off, um, and this is if I'm if we're on an eco round and I have a pistol and I see a gun on the ground that maybe uh, somebody dropped or whatever, I'm gonna walk over it and I don't want it to pull out right away because if there's a guy that's like waiting for somebody to pick up that gun, if you walk over the gun and it auto picks up and auto switches to that weapon, you're gonna die because you're not gonna be able to shoot right away. It's gonna take a second for the gun to pull out so you can shoot. If I have it this off, auto equipped off, and I walk over and I pick up the gun. It's not going to switch the gun, so if there is a guy that swing tries to swing me and shoot at me while I'm picking up the gun, I can at least have my pistol out and shoot at him back, and maybe I hit a headshot on him and kill him, maybe I die, but at least I have a better chance than not being able to shoot at all, so that's why I keep this off. 
Automatic weapon swap, again, keep that off. Automatic uh, swap the knife, you want, definitely want that one off. Minimap radius, I didn't even, again, this is kind of a newer setting. I didn't even know this is a thing, but um, yeah, I would probably just keep it at default. So here's my current HUD. I've used this pretty much my whole career. Um, you can copy it if you want, but I would recommend playing something comfortable uh, because obviously my jump and reload are down here on the bottom right, which is a little bit strange. I know a lot of people have them like above their shoot button on the left, but I just prefer it down here because they're not really actions that I'm going to be doing while looking around. So if I'm looking around trying to shoot at somebody, I'm not going to be jumping and reloading at the same time. So that's why my right thumb can do all that at, um, at different times. Dynamic movement pad, uh, turn that off. Assisted enemy tracking. This is literally aim assist. You want this all the way up, generally speaking. Uh, I used to play with about 90% in, in most of my tournaments. I played 90%. Um, and I felt like sometimes this is a little bit more, like, gluey. Because sometimes you, when you have higher aim assist, you actually, like, get pulled off. So if there's two people peeking you, the aim assist will pull in between those players. Kind of like a magnet. And if you have it a little bit lesser, then your aim assist won't pull like that. And you'll be able to actually shoot at each person, like, one, by, one after another. My sense right now is 2.05 and 1.0 Y. It's a little bit lower than what I used to run. I used to probably rock like three or four, but I started using thumb sleeves about a year ago. Uh, and since I've gotten thumb sleeves, I've turned my sense way down because thumb sleeves are really quick. So uh, that is part of the reason for that. Uh, here's all the scoped and uh, sen scoped in sensitivities uh, for assault rifles and snipers. Now advanced settings, you do want to turn this on. Uh, horizontal sensitivity, X axis. I don't know why this is 49, it should be 50. But yeah, I just keep them both at 50. I'm not even going to like read all these out because all these uh, names of these two settings are really super long. But generally speaking, you just want to turn them all off except for this one, buttons block access input. This is something that I want on. I've never recommended gyro. There's been very few players that have ever ran gyro. And I highly, highly recommend you turn it off. Um, this is just going to mess you up. If you're ever, you know, playing and you're just holding your iPad and you're like, maybe you're in a clutch situation and you're a little bit nervous and you start shaking, you're gonna start, like you're gonna whiff, right? If you're trying to aim at somebody, you're just gonna miss. Uh, shoot using touch pressure, never have that on. I don't think that would be a setting that anybody ever uses. Here's my graphic settings. You guys can copy it if you wish to. I'm not really gonna go into depth about textures uh, or graphics or whatever, because this is kind of just what everybody prefers, uh, different things. So it's not really like something that you need. The only thing I would recommend off is anti-aliasing. I feel like on most games I play on PC, people have it at like two or four, but in CEOPS it's always been good on none. I don't know why, but it just like helps with FPS when you have it off. And then finally my audio, I have this turned down because uh, when I make videos I usually have it turned down, but uh, you can, this is kind of just all like your per personal preference, whatever you like to have on. So that's it. That's my 2024 settings. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully this helps you out. Let me know if you try the settings and it works for you or whatever. But uh, I'll be back probably by the time you're watching this video. I'll be back within a couple of days. Uh, so it, when I am back, I'm going to try and stream and try to play around with some new settings. So if you guys want to join in my streams, I'll be live then. But uh, until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day. Peace out.